Hey, I thought I should make a video about how to cut a papaya. Get out of here, fruit flies. I already cut the thing. So that ruins it. You have to picture it was like that. Slice it in half. Usually I slice it and then bring it to the garbage and then open it because a couple seeds will fall out. <laughs> this is awkward. Okay, but you want to scoop out these seeds. So just get a spoon. You can save these and dry them. I think they're kind of like a pepper type thing. I don't know, I've never tried it. They taste weird when you bite into it, so I, I don't bother. They do kill parasites and stuff, so they are good for something. So scoop it out, and then you have that wonderful gooiness. The same with the other one. And try not to scoop out. Do it very softly, because this stuff at the top, it's very hard to see, but it's just, I love the texture of it. It's a little different than the fruit. It's like a bit chewy. It's so good. So you definitely want to save that. Okay, then what you want to do, I cut it. Cut the thing off there. The thing. I'm so technical. Four slices. And then you kind of just go pretty close to the peel. I mean, if it's organic, you go even closer, but... So there's about... You know... Thin. Get as much flesh as you can. And this, I'm not sure if this is the best angle, but just go... close to the flesh. It seems to work out... pretty good. See, like... That's very thin, it's, and you need a knife like this. I find these kind of knives are perfect. No serrated edge, just a nice, thin, long knife. And I'll try a different angle. What would be the best angle for this? Maybe facing me. Don't look at my belly. Don't look at it. Don't be distracted by the beauty. Okay, hopefully you're seeing you get the idea. I have no idea if you can see that. Alright. Stop looking at my gorgeous belly. Okay, then... I kind of line the two up and just make slices like that. That should be good. This I'll cut in half, usually. And then I'll do the exact same thing for the other half. Then you just grab a fork. Not that fork. I like the soft handled forks. Very easy on the hands. And then it's just a matter of biting that in half. Or if you're lazier, one more cut. One more cut. Boom, easy. And a trick. Okay. It's, this is very awkward. Now my hands are all slimy. Okay, one thing that I discovered a long time ago. Onion tastes amazing with papaya. And you don't even have to eat onion. Just take a bit. This is how I discovered it. I had cut up onion for dinner the night before on my cutting board. And then I had a papaya for breakfast. And as I'm eating the papaya, I kind of tasted the onion still. And I was like, yes, this works. It was delicious. So if you want, cut a little piece of onion and like rub it on your cutting board. And then do this. Then slice up your papaya. It tastes good, trust me, it does. And another thing that goes well with papaya for some reason is turmeric. I love doing that. I'll pour like a little mound of turmeric and then just dip in every once in a while. It's a bit balancing, like it's a bit bitter, but not like disgustingly bitter. 
and it balances the sweetness and it works well. It's anti-inflammatory and so is papaya in another way. Papaya is high in omega-3s by the way and turmeric works anti-inflammatory magic in other ways that nobody really, well people understand it but we don't have to. We just have to know, eat that, it's good, do it. Alright, so I'm going to cut that one, then I will eat it, and then I will feel like a million dollars. <laughs>